The Apple Watch SE is known mainly as a smartwatch, but how it performs in the fitness and sport capacity. Hi, I'm Yair and welcome to my channel. You're all welcome to join my fitness journey and the tech that I use in it. I have no intention in covering all the aspects of a lifestyle watch as the Apple Watch SE is or the tips and tricks. You can find plenty of videos about that in YouTube. I just want to share my personal experience in the sport and fitness capacity. If you find this video useful, please click the like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm and help to push this content to more audience. The Apple Watch SE comes in two sizes, the 40 millimeters like this one. You can also see that the color is the gold and the band is a pink band. It's my wife. If we'll compare those two, you can see I have the Apple Watch uh, Series 5 with a 44 millimeter screen. So you can really see the, the, the difference between the two. The weight of the Apple Watch SE with a 40 millimeter screen and the silicon band is around 60 grams. It comes in three colors. You have the gold color. The one that you see here is more like a rose gold, rosish color. And also it comes with a space gray and the gray uh, color. They all come in the aluminum case and you have the LTE and the Wi-Fi version. This is the Wi-Fi version. In terms of screen size, the 40 millimeters versus the 44 millimeters, you can see my Apple Watch Series 5 as it compares to the Apple Watch SE. You can also reduce the, the weight of it by using maybe different bands, such as this nylon band is very nice for the sport. Uh, I will include a link for this uh, band in the description if you would like to check it out. The battery life. So Apple is claiming up to 18 hours of uh, daily usage. My wife uses it every day. Usually she gets around two days of uh, battery usage when she's not performing any GPS uh, workouts. With sport and fitness tracking, Apple is claiming up to 10 hours of indoor tracking and up to six hours of GPS tracking. If you have the LTE version, it will take its toll on your battery and for one hour. So it's up to five hours with uh, LTE and GPS. I find these numbers more on the safe side because for instance, today my wife ran for half an hour with this watch outside using GPS and she lost about 5% of the battery. So in a rough calculation, she will lose a 10% of her battery while using a GPS uh, tracking. She can get maybe up to 10 hours with it. The Apple Watch SE is also waterproof with a 5 ATM rating. That means that you can submerge it in water. You, you can swim with it in the open sea and in the pool. We'll talk about the pool tracking in a bit. It does integrate with external apps such as Training Peaks and Strava, and also it pairs with external sensors such as chest straps and bike sensors, as long as they have Bluetooth, because it doesn't have any Ant Plus, so you only need to use the Bluetooth. As far for, of running, for the purpose of this review, I only use the built-in running app. I know there are some other running apps of the Apple Watch, but I'll review those apps in future videos. The running profile does support indoor and outdoor running using GPS or a treadmill. As for the running accuracy, it was quite impressive. You can see here, I compared it to my Corus uh, Pace 2 and both of them measured the same distance. You can see all the turns. I know a lot of people complain that the Apple Watch sometimes has these round corners. It looks a little bit artificial, but I didn't see any problem in the place that where I live. A common question about the Apple Watch SE is can you run without your phone, your iPhone? So yes, the answer is yes. Because it has GPS, it has the heart rate uh, sensor on the back. You can just go outside and run with it. And also you can store offline music and podcasts and audiobooks. So it does support offline uh, audiobooks from Audible, podcasts from various podcast apps. You can store MP3 music. And if you have an Apple Music subscription, you can also store offline music from there. It does not support Spotify offline, but if you have the LTE version, you can use a, a Spotify streaming service and you can also listen to your music without your phone using Spotify. The only thing you need to do is to pair it with Bluetooth headphones and you're all set to go. About the uh, cycling tracking, it has an indoor and outdoor profile, so you can use it uh, while you're mountain biking or just using your road bike. 
I used it on my mountain bike and I compared the data to my Coro Space 2. Most of the data was uh, quite accurate. For some reason, the heart rate wasn't registered in Strava, as you can see. But uh, the other measurement, the elevation was the same, the speed was very similar and the total distance was similar as well. I used the GoPro while I was biking and the screen does look a little bit dark in direct sunlight. I believe that in the video it looks worse than it really is. Uh, there is no doubt that if you'll use the Coro Space 2 for instance, because it has a transflective display, it will perform better in direct sunlight than the Apple Watch SE, but I, it didn't bother me even when I used the Apple Watch SE. I did a swim test with it in the pool. It does track your heart rate while you're in the water, which is quite impressive. And it also will try to automatically detect your strokes. Also, from my experience, the Apple Watches are the best pool trackers. I compared it to a Garmin watch and a Chorus watch. And usually the other devices has some hit and misses. Usually it's adding more pools. And the Apple Watch in general and the SE in particular, measuring all the laps correctly as opposed to other brands. The Apple Watch SE also includes an open water swim profile. You can just access it whenever you're on the beach and you can activate it and enjoy an open water swimming. If you want to use it in the gym, you might be disappointed because the gym profile only tracks your heart rate and the elapsed time. It doesn't track any sets you can just put it on rest in order to see how long you are resting and you can uh, pre-build any workout to follow along when you're in the gym. So in, if you are a gym enthusiast, maybe you can check out different devices such as the Core Space 2. You can also check my video about the strength training with the Core Space 2. I will link it in the description down below. But the Apple Watch SE is not the best for the gym in my opinion. There are some external apps that I might review in the near future, but I'm only talking about the native strength app. Also, the new Fitness Plus features by Apple looks promising. My wife already used it and she really liked it. So I'm planning to test it out as well in the near future. So stay tuned for more details soon. There are many other sport profiles. Most of them are the same. You can see here, I have added the fitness gaming uh, profile. You have the Pilates, the other, the indoor walk and functional strength training. If, if I'll click on this one, for instance, so most of these profiles are just the same, only the icon and the classification is different. So for the final verdict, the saying that the Apple Watch is mainly a smartwatch and a lifestyle watch and also has fitness uh, capabilities is still true, but with its growing popularity among the sports and fitness community, we can see more and more fitness features are coming uh, to the Apple Watch. I can understand why people are choosing the Apple Watch as their main fitness tracker because if you have an iPhone and you want to track your fitness you get a versatile sports watch with offline music GPS capability pairing with external sensors pairing with external apps a heart rate monitoring open water swimming pool swimming capabilities however the gym profile is practically useless in my opinion so if you are a gym regular, this might not be the tracker for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel so you won't miss out when videos like this will be released. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye.